Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Collective, and today we're going to be talking about a cumulative slash total, running total DAX formula. And what this is really going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to compare a metric over a period of time in a really compelling way. And with the data set we're using, we're actually looking at the value of homes since 1996, year by year. And so with that, let's just dive right in. So the metric we want to be looking at is the value of the home. And so I'm going to create a DAX measure, and we're going to call it total, total value. And we're just going to go ahead and sum up that value column within the table. Next. What we're going to want to do is we're going to take that same total value and then we're going to want to say okay so what was that value last month and we do have a few options in which you can look at quarters days and years but for this instance for this demo we're going to look at month so i'm going to go ahead and say total value value last month and we're going to use the calculate function grab our measure and then we're going to use date add within here. And we are going to reference the date, our date table, which is absolutely key for this demo. And we're going to look at the month before. And close out. And then we're going to go ahead and take the same formula and we're going to copy and paste it. But we're going to look at two months ago. And so now let's go ahead and set this up and see what we have going here. Go ahead and get rid of the hierarchy, add the total values, total values last month, and total values two months ago. And so by month by month, you have a simul parallel comparison of what the total volume looks like. But if we were to put this into a bar graph, a lot of these would look really similar. There would be too much cluster, too much going on. That wouldn't really give you a compelling way to view or see, identify trends with the way this is set up. And so this is really where the cumulative running total comes into play. And so we're just going to go ahead and set that up. And so we're going to create a new measure. And we're going to call it cumulative total. It's going to equal calculate total value. And then we're going to go ahead and filter the data set. So we're going to look at all selected within the date table. We're going to reference that date again. And then we're going to reference the date and less than or greater equal to the max date. That's going to be our first metric. And we're going to go ahead and also put that in here. And so now you can see that as you're going through the data set, it, the total is adding up. So it's all going to equal the same here, but instead of looking at it side by side, you're looking month by month. This is how we're doing, and this is how we compare it. And I'm going to go ahead and move this to the other table. add it back in there. And so now we're going to go ahead and do this two more times with the two date formulas that we just created. So we're going to take that, we're going to say cumulative total last month now. How did we do? And then we're going to do that one more time, but for two months ago. And then we're going to go ahead and add these in here. And then I'm going to move 
move this over to the right and show you how this kind of works, kind of works dynamically. And so we're going to go ahead and add a slicer in here so we can compare months. And to really show you what this has done for us is I'm going to go ahead and remove the other two DAX formulas from this table, this chart, total value last month and total. And then we're going to go ahead and turn this into a area chart. And now you can see since the year 2000, how are we comparing month over month. And so for instance, if we were to look at, let me model these. Really get an idea of what we're looking at. So month over month, looks like we're varying about 100 million. And this really is a compelling way to see how you guys are doing. And what's really cool about this technique is this doesn't really take a long time and you can quickly compare how you guys are doing monthly, month over month. And that about wraps up this video. Thank you for listening.